How's it going everyone? This is Jake with my bring back. Gonna be going over what is a domain and then how do you register for a domain. So after you've established the goal of your website and the idea that you have to achieve your goal, we're gonna go ahead and try to find a domain that's gonna be fitting for your for your goal and idea. Now first off, you know, what is a domain? A domain is a web address that points people to your website. So as they type in mybringback.com, it's going to direct them to an education slash technological center for learning. Same thing with Facebook and MySpace, but a domain also allows you to, uh, to have a personalized email. So here at uh, mybringback, we have jake at mybringback.com. So you can email that. So it gives you a personalized email as well. But most importantly the, about a domain is it's, it's really the branding tool for you guys out there. So if you're developing an app to sell online, if you're developing a place where your family can find and share information, uh, it really brands where they're going to go. It's going to be what they remember, what they share with people, and how they're going to search to find you. So remember that when trying to search for domains or name your website. All right, there's two parts to the domain. You've got the name. So an example would be my bring back is the name. And then you've got the extension, which is the .com, the .net, the .edu, the .co. All those are extensions. Now, the most popular extension is obviously .com for the commercial, commercial industry, and uh, as you guys have seen out in the web. But uh, you know, don't be afraid to get a .co if you're looking for kind of a, a specialized, or a .dot .org if you're looking for a a nonprofit organization. So do the research. Each extension is a little bit different, so you can't have a .edu if you're not an education um, facility. So you gotta you gotta keep that in mind. All right. So now that you understand kind of what a domain is, um, I'm gonna take you to a few, few places where you can look to see if your domain's available, um, and then guide you through how to how to register your domain. So the first place I want to take you to. Is, uh, is a website called Namecheck and what this is is it basically searches all the social networking sites, social bookmarking websites and it also searches the dot coms, the dot edus, um, etc. The, the purpose for this is you want to have you want to develop everything with the same name so as you go forward you want your Twitter account named the same as your website, you want your YouTube account named as the same as your website and that establishes that brand that we were talking about. So when people think of you, they can find you. So, you know, let's take an example. Uh, Jake, my bring back, searches it. Basically, it runs through, it searches all of the sites and tells you if they're available. Great resource, because you don't have to go to each one and, and figure it out. And then up here, you can see jakemybringback.com is available, jakemybringback.net is available. Uh, bloggers available, Facebook's available, etc. So stop here for your first first uh, glance to look what's available. Make sure your name hasn't been taken by others, and uh, and then uh, then we'll go on to the next step, which is once you've found a name that you like, that's attractive, that meets all those criteria of of what you're about, your goal. Then we're actually going to go and we're going to register that domain. And everyone's like, oh, you know, that's the scary part. I register something. How do I know it's mine? Da 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 da. Well, really, it's it's as easy as one, two, three. I mean, we're gonna go to we're gonna go to two sites that I would recommend. You guys have all heard of GoDaddy. GoDaddy, same thing. You uh, type in your information. You can see right now, dot coms are running for eleven ninety nine, which is about the market average. You don't want to pay any more than that. Search the search name dot com. It should come up. Um, based on the the name check that you did previously, and uh, I'll walk you through it here. My bring back. It goes ahead and says. Dot com available for eleven ninety nine a year. Most popular. Perfect. Continue to registration. You continue. You check out. You pay for it, and you're uh, and you're good to go. The other one that I recommend is one in one. The reason you'd want to that I would recommend one in one is I'm going to take you to a little chart here. If we compare the prices, so we we're just at GoDaddy, 
Yahoo 9.99 for dot coms, and one in one is at 7.99. The ICANN fee included included 18 cents. Here's what's really the the money saver per year is this private domain registration, and what that means. I'm actually I'm gonna actually in the in the the process of transitioning our domain from GoDaddy to one in one because of this free domain registration. We don't got a lot of money. I don't want to pay the ten bucks to uh, make it private. But the, what the private does is it hides all your personal information on who registered it. Um, you're not going to get a bunch of spam emails. Um, and that's big. That's the biggest thing for us is the spam emails. We don't want people spamming us just because we own a website online. So your total annual cost is $7.99 with that uh, free domain. So it really, it really makes a difference when you're looking long term. You want to purchase a lot of domains, all that stuff. And uh, <clears throat> and so that's why I'd re recommend one in one. Now, after you've registered. You're uh, you're ready for my next video on the hosting. The hosting is is just as simple as registering, and then uh, we'll show how to set it up, picking the right platform, and going forward. So stay tuned to uh, for the next video of hosting after you've purchased your domain. If uh, if you want to go to the one in one site, you can check out my links. I've got some coupons on my site, mybringback.com, which gives you a little bit of discount, um, and then uh, it takes you straight to the domain. You can look up some stuff, and, uh, and you're good to go there. So stay tuned, and uh, we'll see you next time.